Hello everybody, it's Gear to you, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the previous episode, we retrieved the Thunder Helm from the Yuga Clan hideout and defeated Master Koga. And in today's episode, we're gonna tell the good news to Chief Riju, and oh my gosh, she's disappeared! Where'd she go? It was you, wasn't it? Return her! Come back and face me like a man! I mean, I'm not a man, I'm a ve. I'm not a vo- ah! I'm just kidding, let's talk to her. If you're looking for Lady Reju, she's on the second floor. Normally people aren't allowed into her sleeping quarters, but she has given you permission, it seems. Be on your best manners. If she deems you to be a disturbance to her, it will not end well for you. Now before I go in there, I'd like to point out one of my favorite details in this entire game. So, Reju is a bit on the young side, so she's a lot shorter than the other Gerudo in this game. Which means... She needs a stepping stool at the end under her throne, and even then, her throne has a booster seat. This is one of the cutest details in the entire Zelda series, I love this so much. <laughs> so, without that out of the way, we can go over here, and we can talk to you. Oh. You must be pretty special to have special permission from the chief. And we can go over here and talk to you, so you don't feel left out. Oh. Have you got permission to enter the chief's bedroom? Who are you? And the chief is just up ahead. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh, you need to say a word. As the chief of the Gerudo, I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. I know that you've succeeded. I am, as you have no doubt noticed, still but a child. Mm. The people look on me with nothing but warmth in their eyes, but even this brings me some pain, I must admit. I've tried so hard to be worthy of their love, to be a worthy chief, and to prove to myself that I am worthy too. When my family heirloom was stolen, I felt as though a shadow had fallen over me. Yes, your arrival in the midst of all of this must be the work of Lady Orbosa. Now, please give me the helm. Um, how do I look? Well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much, from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this ceiling power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... Ah! 
Abusa! What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> What's wrong? You're just staring. Anyway, what matters now is... How is it? Do I look alright? Mm, I gotta be honest, it's a tad big. Hmm. You don't say. <laughs> The threat divine beast Vandoboros poses has only grown since we began searching for the heirloom. I believe that Gerudo town itself may be in danger before too long. As chief, and as Gerudo, I must find some way to stop that thing before it threatens my people. Will you help me? Of course. <laughs> Who would have thought that, just before such a momentous battle? Hearing a simple, confident pledge of support from you would be what puts me at ease. I'll head out now. Let's meet up at the lookout post south of town. There's only one way to get close to Noboris, and that's with the help of the Sand Seal. The lookout post isn't too far from town, but you should take a Sand Seal there. You can get some practice in that way. I'll be there waiting for you with my favorite Sand Seal, Patricia. Hmm. Still... Really is a little big. Riju's gone off and uh, head off over towards that area. That was a great way to word that. <laughs> so, we're gonna keep her waiting just a little bit longer as we look around this area. So, I gotta say, I love this room. <laughs> like, this bed looks really fancy, and just look at this giant plushie of Patricia. <laughs> It's like one of the cutest things ever. We haven't actually met Patricia yet, but we will in due time. And I did record footage of looking at Patricia, but I didn't. I ended up not using that part in the video. So in hindsight, I probably should have just stuff that in there. But that video is already going on for a little while anyway. But the big things I like to point out is uh, what's this? Oh, it's a like a is that a toy box? <laughs> I think this is a toy box. That's kind of cute. Uh, so we go over here, and I think this right here is supposed to be, like, a grave. I don't know off the top of my head. I tried doing research uh, on that. I couldn't really find anything. Um, I want to translate what these say in Hylian. I couldn't find that either. But if I do find anything worth mentioning, I definitely will have the caption on screen somewhere. We can also see that Ritu has a really huge library of books, so that's really cool. And probably the most important book in this area is her diary. Berluria told me today that Mother has passed on and gone to a better place. She said that Mother's death means I am now the chief of the Gerudo people. I wish she'd stay here, though. I don't see how it could be a better place with us apart. Ever since I became the chief, the people in town have, got, have been a lot nicer to me. But if I look carefully, I can still see the worry in their eyes. It seems more common than when Mother was chief. Mother, will I ever be as great a chief as you were? The divine beast Vandroboros, which supposedly has been sleeping in the desert, has suddenly woken up. Mother once told me that Naboros is a DT of protection for the Garuda people, but it doesn't seem that way. I plan to investigate tomorrow. I have to find out more. Having investigated Divine Beast Vernaboris, I could say that if it came to Gerudo Town, we'd be helpless. When I drew close to it, using my wonderful Sand Seal Patricia, I was driven back by Sandstorm and Lightning. I turned Patricia toward home, but a monster spooked her, and she fled directly toward Naboris again. The next thing I remember is Valeria standing over me, her face full of worry. Ever since I went to investigate the Divine Beast, Valeria has made a point to never leave my side. Even now, with such a valuable heirloom stolen by thieves, she refuses to tear herself away from me for even a moment. She takes all the blame for the theft, however, 
Nothing could change her mind about being responsible. Meanwhile, I can't help but feel that the theft happened because I'm not yet ready to be chief. The soldier searched tirelessly, trying to recover the heirloom. No one says a word about my leadership, but they must be thinking about how powerless their chief has proven to be. Thanks to the tireless efforts of my soldiers, we've located the thieves' hideout. They definitely aren't common criminals, though. We haven't been able to get anywhere close to the place. To think that the Thunder Helm is right there, yet we can't take it back. Mother, Lady Orbosa, please give me your guidance. That last page has caused a bit of a debate in the Zelda series, in the Zelda community. So, the way she words herself makes it seem like Lady Urbosa and Regis mother could be the same person. This is not the case. They are two separate people. Because, for one, the champions died a hundred years ago, and Riju is twelve. So, unless the Gerudo age very, very slowly, there is no way that Riju could have even been born within Lady Urbosa's lifetime. So... That's just something that's not possible. So we go over this way, and uh, I believe it's you who's the lady that we saved? The one that we saved in the hideout? Hmm, aren't you the one who broke into Yuga Clan's hideout? <laughs> they spread their forces so thin looking for you that I managed to bust down and return here. I owe you my life. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone you're a vow. It's the least I can do. She's on to us! Get her! Get her! <laughs> that is a scary sight, seeing all of them pointing their spears at me. I deserve that. And let's now let's go talk to them. So, if you don't care about any of this dialogue, skip to the timestamp on screen. I heard all about it from Beluria. You've done well to bring our chief's heirloom back to us. Now the chief should finally be able to relax a little. Mm. All that's left is the divine beast. In any case, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your help in this case. I won't forget it. I don't think we ever talked to you. Oh, you're here. I heard you were able to get the home back for us, huh? You really saved us by doing that, you know. If it was still in the hands of those thieves, we'd all be stuck doing more spear training. This Garuda made bow is popular for the fine ornamentations along its limbs. I butchered that pronunciation, but I'm not going to redo the take. Designed for hunting and warfare alike, this bow was engineered to strike distant targets, and we can't carry it, so I'm going to take a picture instead. I really should be working more on the Hyrule Companion. I have not been good at taking pictures of these things. That bow is shiny, and I want it, so we're going to drop the knight's bow so we can take it. <laughs> Slava, Slava. From what I hear, you're the Hylian that recovered the helm for the chief. It's a shame I didn't get to show you those thieves what I could do with my spear, though. Oh. Anyway, maybe someday you and I can get a little sparing in. We might both learn something. I always wanted to be in a sword fight, but it's kind of hard to be in a sword fight in a safe environment. <laughs> you're not going to hear any gratitude from me. I got too wrapped up in coaching my subordinates and fell behind is all. As a member of the Gerudo, it is my duty to prevent something like this from ever happening again. I will protect the town and Lady Riju from with all my strength, and you'd better not get in the way. You mean like this? <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> Bart to let me know how helpful you've been. However, despite the thieves having been defeated, we can't afford to let our guard down, even for a moment. We've got to make sure that something like that theft never, ever happens again. Oh. I am truly glad that Barta made it back safely. She said that she was eating bananas on the way home. I wonder where she found them. Oh. Yeah, while we were lumbering around here, you managed to get ahead of us. I'm ashamed. So, as we go back in this area, there is one more detail about the Yuga Clan hideout that I kind of forgot to go over um, before we left that place. So, just like most treasure chests in the game, all the treasure chests in that place will respawn during a blood moon. Which means, you now have a safe and reliable place to grind up on rubies. So, 
just go back over there whenever there's a blood moon, open up those treasure chests again, and boom, we got 300 more rubies, and it's yours for the taking. And there may or may not be a certain item a little bit later that can make it easier for us to teleport around wherever we want. <laughs> nudge, nudge. But we want to see that for a while. Those stupid sand seals are getting away from me. It was that jerk, wasn't it? Mm, just give me another reason not to like you. <laughs> Alright, we'll do this the fancy way. We'll go over this way. Wait, wait, wait. wait what's that? That looks cute. What's this? I've never seen this before. That is so cute! I've never noticed this giant seal statue! Oh, I love that so much! That is so cute! It is wonderful and amazing! <laughs> Alright, so let's head down here. And we're not going to need our Gerudo armor anymore, so we're going to go back to our regular equipment and things like that, because we are awesome. Alright, and now we have our sand seal. So I didn't want to say this too soon, but as I go across this area, I would like to say something that I've been wanting to say for a little while. So, this entire segment of the game, I gotta be honest, this is my favorite point in Breath of the Wild's story. We've already seen some pretty great moments, so we were able to have a link across trust to get into Gura Town, which is pretty great. Uh, we got to go to the Yukon hideout, which was just all kinds of awesome. Master Koga was amazing. We got to see that little glimpse of uh, the champion Orbosa, and her introduction got seen as amazing. And we also got to see one of my favorite memories as well with Zelda and Karakar Bazaar and Xavier and things like that. But one of the biggest reasons that this was one of my favorite parts of the entire game is Riju. We'll be talking about that in a moment. Well then, that's what you really look like, huh? <laughs> With Vel banned from town, it's not very common for me to see someone like you. What a sight. Divine Beast Vino Burris is pretty intimidating. If we get close enough to attack that thing, we'll need to use sand seals. Are you ready? Oh. Feeling confident? Good. Let's get going then. First, we'll use the sand seals to get in really close to that thing. I'll take the lead. I'm counting on you to shoot at its feet with bomb arrows. The boris draws energy from the ground to keep moving. If you damage the feet, I think we can stop it. Those lightning strikes, though. Getting hit even once could, be, could prove fatal. The Thunder Helm can repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from harm, but can also shield a limited area around me. Enough to stay close if you don't want to get shocked. Mm. And listen. If you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me you'll retreat here to the lookout. Don't do anything reckless under any circumstances. Here are some Gerda bomb arrows. There aren't many, so be sure to put them to good use. This is the last time I'll ask. Are you ready? Um, I... Well... I can't take on this divine beast on my own, so I'll wait until you're... Sir, you're ready. I WANNA GO HOME! Okay, I came back over here in Gerudo Town to get some additional footage for something in another video we're gonna need that I almost forgot about. And I kind of completely forgot about that treasure chest. And now I see these sand seals over here and they look super cute, so I'm gonna be distracted for about 20 minutes now. <laughs> And we can go inside this building, and there is another Gerudo lady in here. I'm shocked. Despite what the chief said, I wasn't expecting someone as short as you. But the chief must have her reasons for believing you can fight the Divine Beast. She's waiting for you at the top of the lookout post. Ooh. And there's another treasure chest in here. We can get a golden bow! And we kind of already picked one up in Gerudo Town, but this one is shiny, and I like shiny. So we're going to... I don't want that... No, I don't. I don't want that one. Now we'll pick up the golden bow. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm just scatterbrained right now, trying to get everything set up and things like that. Could you give me a bit of room, just for a moment? My 
my name is Riju, descended to the royal line and leader of the Gerudo people. With the power of the Eridum passed down to my family, I shall calm the divine beast Phanoboros. Ancestors of the Gerudo, answer my call. Aid me in this task. <laughs> Feel their power coursing through me. Let me see your chest. The Thunder Home is just so cute. <laughs> Lady Orboso, please grant Link and me your protection. And now we're storming off into battle, but we're gonna stop right here. <laughs> because there is something that I really want to do as soon as, uh, I read you actually. Oh, hello? No, I want to keep the fight. I want to try to get a picture. There we go. We can actually get a picture of Reju, uh, of, uh, Patricia. And I want to get this particular shot with uh, Riju standing next to Patricia because it just looks so cute. I mean, she looks so tiny next to the sand seal. It's so adorable. But anyway, now we're going off into battle. This is the big reason why we want to have the Thunder Helm with us uh, so before we face uh, the Divine Beast. So, stay within this uh, circle-ly protection field theme with the Thunder Helm and Rage You and all that good stuff, and you will be fine against the Thunder Strikes. Because we already saw firsthand a little bit earlier in our adventure what happens if we get too close without the Thunder Helm. So, what we want to do is you want to take out your bomb arrows and you want to aim for the feet. You want to be careful with this so that you don't hurt yourself or anything like that because explosives are kind of painful. So you don't want to be too close to the blast radius. So that taken care of, let's head over here. And I'm actually curious, can we get a better shot of a person and Reju while we're here? Uh, it looks like we can, so let's try this instead. <laughs> I don't know which one I like more. Uh, let's, let's keep the old one. <laughs> I thought we'd get a better shot if we had both of them facing the camera, but honestly, I kind of like the one, the first one that we took more. But I mean, enough killing the pacing of the battle. Let's go over here and aim for the thing that's going away from us because it's rude. This battle can be pretty difficult if you're not careful. Um, if you get too far away from Riju, then just slow down for a little bit and she should be able to catch up to you. Now, if this is not your first Divine Beast, then you can activate Mipho's Grace and that should save you at least once from a Thunder Strike. I'm not going to be using it right now because I'm saving using the abilities until later in our journey. Um, so we're not going to be doing that right now. To hear that, and now we only have one more to go.
Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. Don't let us down, Link. 